I know. I know. He is getting on your last nerve. And every time you turn around, he's just, he's just there. <laughs> I know, bro. I get it. She's about to drive you crazy. Just talking and talking and talking. He just can't seem to get her to shut up. And both of you just feel like the walls are caving in on you and they just going to suck you up. Suck you right in. Listen to me. Do not let this coronavirus break up your relationship. Remember, where your focus goes, that's where your energy flows. And I know, right now you're stressed out because the financial situation might not be right. You're stressed out because you got kids running all around the place, can't seem to get them to settle down. You're stressed out because you have no personal space. And right now, you're suffering from a severe case of cabin fever. And it's got you all in your feelings. So what seemingly is a small issue quickly turns into a big issue. I want you to listen to me. Lock in with me. Those four walls can be whatever you decide to make them. If you two decide to focus in on all the negative and all the stress and all the problems and all the issues that you're facing, you're going to be at each other's throat. You're going to be at each other's neck. But if you choose to focus in on your love and remember that you two are in this together, you're a team. And the overall objective is for your relationship to be stronger when this is all over. You're trying to win. You're trying to get to that happily ever after. And that means you have to own your feelings. You have to be open and honest with each other. And if sometimes you need some personal space, you got to be able to say that in a way that the other person receives it. And if you're the person receiving it, you got to be able to receive it without getting in your feelings and feeling like, oh, she doesn't want to be with me. Oh, he doesn't want to be with me and spend time with me. Listen to me. Know your partner. Know your mate. That is so important. And understand that each of you needs your own personal space. So this is the perfect time to create some new norms. You can schedule together time and have fun with it. You can schedule alone time and enjoy your personal space that you need. Super important. You're going to have so many conversations right now. You got to learn to agree to disagree. You got to know your significant other's triggers. Know the things that you can say or do that will trigger and create bigger issues and avoid them at all costs. Step out of your comfort zone. Don't make it all about you. I know we have certain things that, that happen in, in each one of our homes. Like maybe one person does all of the cooking. Well, step out of your comfort zone. Why don't you do the cooking sometimes? Why don't you surprise your significant other and say, hey, I'm cooking tonight, I got this. Respect each other's personalities. Respect each other's opinion. Do not try to force your views and your opinion on them and make it law. And then have a the nerve to get an attitude when they don't see it your way. I promise you, we are human and we can be looking at the exact same thing and have two different opinions and two different takes on it. And that's okay. So many arguments and blow ups happen over things that don't mean nothing in the bigger scheme of life. Remember this, a great relationship is about two things. First, appreciating the similarities and second, Respecting the differences. See, y'all are a tag team. That means y'all are a duo. And the goal is to turn that duo into an uno and come together as one for the good of the relationship. So that means there will be times when you have to have tough conversations. There will be times when you have to be apart so you can come back together. There will be times when you have to swallow your pride just to keep the peace. And that's okay. It's all a part of a relationship. I'll say this one more time. You and your significant other are together. You are a team. Even in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, if you guys work together and stand strong and communicate and be open and honest, and remember, you're trying to win. You can win. 
and you can come out stronger than ever. That's all we're trying to do is climb over the hump of any adversity we face in our relationship and make each and every day of our life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.